Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big P here. Got to wear these now when you're going to Doncaster Town Centre to pay a bill. <laughs> Unbelievable isn't it? Right then, where was we? Let's see if we can get out here without taking the back end off. Unbelievable. It does help if you put camera on. Uh, I've just had an email and I'm going to share it with you all. So we've got some lights on in here. That better. Let's get out of this car park. I've been banned from here ages for complaining about queuing. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sneak straight out, give them the money and go. But uh, I think I've got a problem with authority, I know. Right, Eddie Earn. Eddie, how are you doing Eddie? Evening Eddie. Right, I've just heard a corker. Hey, Porky, you're not gonna put it out, are you? Oh, too round putting it out! Yeah, but you'll drop me in it. Who cares? Keep your mouth shut then. I've heard that Eddie Earn could be gonna be using Matchroom Boxing YouTube channel as a platform if Sky jog him on. And don't share dates. How's about that one then? Well, good thinking though, innit? They always have a plan B, don't they? It's their own platform. They like to use their own garden. Why pay for a venue when you can use your back garden? Why have a, a deal with Sky where they're calling shots when you can just use your own channel and put garbage on? Feed us with garbage. Yeah, mate. Are we going to save you going back into your office then, Mush? You're not spotted me. Put shades on so you might spoil his mate spotted me. I mean, you all right now? <laughs> Hang on, mate, you want your ticket? Cheers, pal. Have a good day, Dad. Have a good day, I will. You know I'll come and see you. <laughs> oh, I love it when a plan comes together. Right, so Eddie's gonna. Eddie is going to use Matchroom Boxing YouTube. Hey, you could give Darren Barker a role, couldn't he? Good old Darren Barker. And Juggy Spencer Oliver. They could give them roles. Matchroom Boxing roles. What do you reckon to that? Hey? They could give them roles. They could be stars. I don't think which is the best way to go now, to rob them. Uh, well, they need to do something, don't they? Because that date is edging closer than. I've heard Sky's on the knees. On their knees with it. That's why the bias now is out of control. Did anybody see the bias at the weekend? I think Ozzy Smith on Boxing Asylum nailed it when he said that. He said, look, when Matthew Mackley came on the scene as a pundit, he was fresh, wasn't he? He had ideas, he was outspoken, he was judgmental, he was were, he were calling it as he seen it, and he was breath of fresh air. Ozzy, you nailed it. But what happens is, you see, right? What happens is, once you get your feet under the table, you get a bit of a deal with Sky. What happens is, you join the cult, they pull you in, right, to a meeting, and they prick your finger with a needle. That's what they do. It's like going to Mafia. It's a cult. They prick your finger with a needle. Bean pricks it. Bean sets fire to the needle and he pricks it in your thumb. That's what he does, Bean. Bean is the man. He's running the show, Bean. Hannibal, Hannibal Bean. Did you hear him the other day? Yes, well, we're just starting with the hors d'oeuvres. We're getting ready for the main course. He sounded like Hannibal Lecter. I swear to God, he sounded like Hannibal Lecter. Bean! Honestly, driving me mad. Q 
you were alright. We got an ulcer. We're on about BEAN! I've even got Smido sending me voice texts going BEAN! I like the beans on toast one on Boxing Asylum last night. Well look, we're all piss takers, aren't we? I mean, they put themselves out there, they've got to expect it, haven't they? I mean, look, it, I don't want to hear, right, about all this nonsense that they're talking on there. I don't want to hear it, all this narratives and scripts being written, it's madness, it's utter madness and it's like Dynasty with boxing gloves, isn't it? That's what it reminds me of, Dynasty or Emmerdale Farm with, with boxing gloves instead of cow shit and wellies. Do you know what I mean? So, it is what it is and, but uh, what can you say? But like I've just said to you there, Eddie Hearn looking to use Matchroom Boxing YouTube channel as a platform to put boxing on. Eddie's forward thinking, isn't he? So I can see it happening. They wouldn't be beholden to Sky, would they? They've got BBC doing snooker, they wouldn't be bothered about that. They sold snooker everywhere, haven't they? Eurosport, BBC, Sky, everywhere, wouldn't it? So I don't think it'd affect them. But uh, would that mean Bean's out of job or would they transfer Bean over to match and boxing? Because they wouldn't be getting paid what they're getting paid at Sky, would they? And another thing as well, you'd have all these people who are hanging out of the back of Eddie Hearn at the moment, and we know who they are, don't we? Oh, they're staying in that lane there. I'm trying to go in my lane, you mush. And you pug 307. Now, point I want to make is, it's a cult. It is now a cult, like I've just said. Prick your fingers, I'm telling you. The prick your fingers and once you join it, it's like a brotherhood. It's like the Mafia. It's like La Cosa Nostra. Bean's the head honcho. Johnny, Johnny Nelson is the consigliere. Darren Barker, Spencer Juggiers Oliver, Bellew, they're capos. And then you've got other people like Coogan. Rob Tebber and Umar, they're soldiers. That's how it's going, isn't it? Freak your thumb, I can't believe it. I can't believe they do that. It's a cult! I've been saying it for years and everybody said they were cuckoo like David Icke. Well, I've been proved right. Bean is the man that does it. He's the man. He sticks the, the thing in your thumb. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, but what can you do anyway this video now is an appetizer it's an hors d'oeuvre for the main course the main course is later Woo! get ready for the main course so peace out keep on trucking keep sporting boxing don't have nightmares and don't take it serious because it's just pantomime isn't it really don't take it too serious all your people who keep emailing me don't take it too serious. It's not real life, they're all telling lies to you. Alright. Go on, go on in a bit. 